All right, I'm going to demonstrate um, homing uh, a bump stop with G28 and G30 uh, and what happens when the power fails uh, and you need to restart and not mess up a uh, $50 piece of wood and a 10 hour carve. Uh, you can't pick up right where you left off but you can at least restart it going perfectly over where it was prior so um, here we have easel uh, and on it right here in the corner it looks like just one square but what that actually is is two squares both are two inch by two inch but one is inside cut and one is outside cut um, what I'm going to do is hopefully what will happen is it'll cut. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one. I'm going to delete one. Let's see which one can I delete here. Okay, this is the inside cut. I'm going to leave the outside cut right now. We're going to we're going to start this carve, and we'll let it go. I'll completely shut off the uh, the machine, and then we will recarve the inside one right inside it and if there's any variance at all it should show up as a shift uh, or you should see a double line carved somehow uh, that's uneven so we'll try this out we'll experiment but I'll at least demonstrate how it works okay first things first is we are going to home the machine so go here home Okay, so it's homed now. Uh, now we'll go to Advanced Machine Inspector, and in the command prompt, we are going to type in G28. And I program G28 to be the inside of my bump stop, which you can kind of see there. Um, it's the inside corner. I actually programmed the G28 after I made it cut it, so it should be exact. So I hit G28 and X, Y, and Z move into a position uh, Z mostly up X and Y over the corner sorry for my uh, jitterness in the camera I'm doing this all by myself alright and then I'll also demonstrate real quick uh, G30 so G30 works the same way to program G28 you put it into jog it to a position and then go into command console here and type in G28.1 and that basically programs that position X, Y, and Z so you gotta be careful with the Z uh, into it locks it into wherever it is uh, same thing uh, with G30 so my G30 when we move it goes back and uh, over uh, so that I can get something uh, on the leftmost rail uh, and just access anything. So here I have my bump stop. Um, it doesn't really matter where it is. This piece here could be over here and as long as I jog it to a known location you can even measure off of where the home is. Uh, you can repeat uh, and put it exactly back where it was uh, by using uh, or after homed I should say. Okay so anyways I know where I'm at we're going to put it back to G28. Okay. I'm going to go here. We're going to exit the, the setup there. We're going to move to carve. I'm already where I want to be, X, Y, and Z. And because we can't probe in easel yet, I have to manually put this down. And I'm not really worried about depth, so we're just gonna we are just gonna put it there. Um, 
And because it's just a two inch square, I'm gonna actually get the dust uh, extractor off and all that so we can see. Uh, so this is where we wanna be. We're gonna go through the setup here. I just hit my emergency stop. Uh, it doesn't know where it is now. It thinks it's homed. Uh, it thinks it's completely uh, in the right place. Uh, back at, uh, or I should say not homed. It thinks it's uh, back at the G28 location. Uh, but it's not. So I'm going to restore power. Okay, but I'm going to come here. We are going to uh, close out of easel all together. Going to open it back up. I'll reopen the project here. We're going to switch this now. I figure. Just remembered we can just switch it to an inside cut. Uh, we are going to rehome the machine. Okay, we are going to go into Advanced Machine Inspector G28, which moves it into position. We are going to lower it now. Okay, and actually that should be exactly uh, where it was before because that's exactly what I did before. All right, we are going to go ahead and confirm everything. It actually says use last uh, home position. So I believe uh, they must have changed it. I forgot. I thought that I actually lost that uh, if you got out, but uh, looks like maybe they uh, made some advances. But either way, we are going to just confirm our home position this time. We'll have to test that out another time. Raise the bit. Turn on the spindle. And if all goes well, it should be on the inside exactly where it was before. And you can see it work. Any variance now would be from my bit size being off. So you can see there's a hair all the way around actually. It's just a real thin line all the way around and that's because my bit size is probably not what I entered. Uh, I will move it out of the way so you can see. By going G28 to raise up the spindle all the way. And then G30. And I'll move all the way back okay so let's see if we can see this all the way around there is a hairline which means the diameter I have in for my bit is wrong which would explain some other issues I'm having but uh, just by a hair uh, but it is even all the way around it's got that hair all the way around so it put it exactly back to where it was. So that's the benefit of using G28 and a bump stop. Uh, G30 can also be used. Um, so there's that. Uh, sorry for the long video. Uh, I don't have editing equipment and uh, I am not one of those YouTube professionals. So there we are. Machine inspector. Very handy. Uh, I'll have to try the probe 
macro in here sometime.